Oh, uh, this is a uh, this is a lot bigger than I expected. That's what she said. Welcome back to the channel, guys. And I know it's been a bit since I've uploaded a video, but we have another tackle score possibly. Uh, did a little poll. Guys said they love the marketplace videos because they're filled with old baits and they love seeing if we hit a score or not. So that's what's in today's video. I bought a giant box of tackle. Didn't know it was this big off Facebook marketplace, but it was an estate sale. So before I get too much into the video and get to seeing what's in here and everything, I got to give a few shout outs. One, Six Sense Fishing. Man, they got some awesome stuff coming out right now. And Waterland Sunglasses. Uh, they got several models marked down. You can use my code Baitman and save even more. So it's 15% off Waterland. Dude, you can get these slaunch glasses right now on the Waterwood uh, that I wear all the time for like 90 bucks. So really good deals there. But the biggest shout out I wanna give, the only way I was able to get uh, this box of stuff is Sammy Joe over at C&O Marine. Uh, in White Bluff, Tennessee, great uh, shop slash dealer, uh, boat dealership out there, legendary. Everybody knows who C&O Marine is, especially uh, in the Kentucky Lake area. Uh, they're a great business. But Sammy Joe went out there and picked this up and shipped it to me. And I really, really appreciate her doing that. I couldn't get away from work. Um, so guys, if you're in the market uh, for a new bass boat, I think they carry Ranger, Triton, some great used boats. Um, go check them out. They have an awesome fiberglass repair down there. Uh, they got all kinds of parts, seats, you name it. CNO is really good people and it's a name uh, that is very synonymous with the Kentucky Lake area. So thank you, thank you, Sammy Joe for going up, getting this stuff for me and shipping it to me. That means a lot. I'll link the website to them in the description. By the way, they got some fishing tackle there too. So if you're in that White Bluff area, uh, Dixon, Tennessee, go check out CNO Marine. But I'm gonna go outside, it's kind of cold. Neely says she wants to be in the video. So Bait Girl wants to see what all we got. What are we gonna find? Mm, bait. bait. Yeah, what's your favorite bait? Spinning. All right, so you want to find some spinner baits? Mm -hmm. All right, you ready to open this up? Mm -hmm. All right, get the soap and Neely real quick. Okay. All right, Neely, open it up. Oh, well. Wow. Ooh, some packing paper. Mm. That was nice. Let's pull that paper out. Uh, that's, that's, that's a big one. What's big? The paper? Yeah. We don't need the paper. Yeah, Go ahead and pull all that paper out. Yeah. Oh, look, Neely. There's a box. There's some spinner baits in here. Yeah. More paper. Oh. Wow. There's a one, two. There's another box down there on the bottom. One, two, three. So six, seven, eight total boxes. Unless I'm not counting right. This is disgusting right here. That's disgusting? What is that? Oh, yeah, rust. Mm -hmm. All right, let's 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 look at the spinnerbait box first. Sorry, grab it. Can you get it? Dusty. And you just dumped them all out. Oh. Well, we're going to reach in here and get all these spinnerbaits that Neely dumped out. And yeah. uh, we'll come right back. All right, Neely, you ready to talk about these spinnerbaits? Mm -hmm. Aren't spinnerbaits your favorite? Yeah. All right, so Neely, she spilt them, which is okay. Uh, and we just sorted them out here. Here's, here's what come out of the pile. So we'll go over what we got here. I paid $125 for everything in this box. So I think we'll end up making our money back just a matter of how much. But the first two we got, Neely, these are called uh booyah boogie blades they don't make these anymore this looks like legs it is look it does look like legs uh so we got chartreuse and white one and then we got neely's favorite color uh a shad and purple one these are uh these are smaller uh so i think these are like quarter ounce uh they're in good shape those are good highly sought after um bladed jigs 
Uh, they quit making them after a Z-Man cease and desist, but we got a lot of spinner baits. Uh, I got some booyah spinner baits here. I'm gonna show this. Yeah, Neely, you wanna show it? That's a double Colorado uh, booyah. The only problem is these skirts are about dry rotted, so uh, these aren't bad. But all these here are Stan Sloan aggravators. Better not call them a spinner baiter, spinner bait around Stan. Rest in peace, Stan. Great guy. Made awesome um, aggravator. Got a bunch of them, but the skirts, you can see like on this one, they're all about to fall off. I've got skirt material falling in the floor. So got a strike king up here, and then we got some that the skirts had fell off. So uh, not a lot of value here. Uh, we can sell them all in bulk. Might keep a few and re-skirt them, but uh, the Bayou, uh, the Booyah uh, blade, I think it's the Boogie blade, that's probably worth more than anything. All right, Neely, we got it cleaned up. Why don't you reach in there and get me another box? Let's see what we got. Excuse my house, guys. I got two kids and two dogs. Oh, Neely got a big box. Wow. Uh, I can already tell, Neely, there's some old stuff in here. Mm -hmm. Let's open it up. Yep. Oh, it's Nothing smells better than old fishing tackle. Oh, wow. That does stink. It stinks? Like what, your feet? No, it smells like dog fart. Smells like dog fart. Okay, not really what I thought. All right, let's just take a quick peek. I can't go over every bait. Or Neely, would you rather get everything out and sort it like we just did and then me talk about it? Probably just like we just did. Okay, you smell that dog fart? Yeah. Okay, we'll do that. All right, guys, we're going to pull all this stuff out, and then uh, I'll talk about it. I already see some goodies in here. We've, we've got the whole box sorted out here. Neely counted them all. Neely, how many baits did you count out of that? There's 44. 44 baits. Got some old school baits? Mm -hmm. Yes? Yeah. All right. Let's go ahead and talk about it real quick. All right, got a bunch of buzz baits here. I'm not sure on this brand. These, I believe, are, that one's a Booyah with the clacker. The other ones, I believe, are Lunker Lures, old Lunker Lures. And these are like frogs. Yeah, we got two old scum frogs here. These are really cool. These got living rubber. That one's all pubed up, but that one's in good shape. But let's check out these. Most of all this is jerk baits and top water. Again, I paid $125 for that whole box. Uh, we made our money back on these. Easily. This is a cool plug. This is actually an AC Shiner uh, 363. So that is a boss wood bait, handmade in the USA. AC Shiner is really kind of famous. Uh, probably $20, $25 bait, maybe. Uh, this is a heading uh, right here. Uh, this bait right here is really special to me. Uh, this is called a Gilmore Jumper. And this color right here, I like to call Old Blue. Uh, shout out to the guy I first worked for at Fisherman's Headquarters on Kentucky Lake, Jeff Evans. Rest in peace, Jeff. Uh, he used to throw this topwater bait all the time. He called it Old Blue. In the fall around stumps, man, he'd catch some giants. Uh, those who know on Kentucky Lake, they know about Old Blue. So really cool, uh, not super old. They still make the Gilmore Jumper. Uh, but this one, I've never had this bait. This is a Bagley's chug -O lure really cool. Uh, this is an old school lure, very, very good shape. Uh, now, whoever had this stuff, they replaced a lot of hooks with those Excalibur uh, TX three trebles and one of my most underrated top orders, Cordell Crazy Shad. Uh, go over here, we got some old Finland uh, Rapala floating minnows. Here's a small Bagley. Uh, this is a newer one, you see it says Bagley, not Bagley's. Uh, this is a Bagley's Bangalore right here in really, really good shape. Again, he's put the Mexcalibur trebles on there. This is a Whopper Stopper Hellcat. Uh, bait I've never owned. Uh, these are Strike King, uh, Balsa King jerk baits, believe it or not. Uh, and then we've got uh, got several jitterbugs, common colors, tiny torpedo. Um, this is cool. This is a Hedden. Uh, actually, this one's a Hedden Tiny Chugger, and this is a, a Pico lure, I believe. Uh, a couple Rebels, a Lucky Thirteen. 
Uh, needs cleaned up. Zare Spook, this is a color selector spook. Uh, so kind of a limited edition on there. Uh, this is actually an old spook and you can tell it back's got a little sway. It's two piece, see how that's a two piece bait? That's a hard one to find. Some Zara Puppies, a Super Pop R, a Zell Rollin Classic Pop R P65. Uh, that's a Pro Autograph Series bait. Don't have that one. Glad to get it. And there's a here's a, a couple more of those Head and Chugger Spooks. This is a really good one. This one's not in great shape, but some of these Chugger Spooks on eBay go for 20 to 50 bucks, even more if they're in the package. Mark Sosen Pro Autograph. A spitting image. We got two build ants spitting image. Um, and then we got a Zara 2, which is really cool. Uh, a smaller version of a spook. Um, yeah. A little hula popper. So this is a this was a pretty good box, to be honest with you guys. Uh the $125 I've got back in just this box. Probably double to be honest with you. I am gonna keep a few of these things. Old blue is going to stay with me and probably one of these ac shiner uh plugs as well all right neely we're ready for the next box yeah, let's see what else we got in there yeah it's hard for me to reach it is it yeah all right here let me help you which one do you want you want that one in the bottom yeah all right we'll see what's in here we don't even know because it's black this is classic jig spin. That's a cool old school box. All right, let's open it. Open it up, Neely. Let's take it up. So open. Guys, do me a favor. If you like the content, we're going to hit the subscribe and like button. If don't do it for me, do it for Neely. Uh, open it up. Ooh. All right, let's get all this stuff out and see what we got. Oh, we found a new and packaged scum frog. Oh, you have this one, right? That's a DD-22. Be really careful. That's in really good shape, by the way. I like it. You like it? All right. Set it down there. Okay. Does it rattle? Yeah. All right. Well, nice. else? let's take a sneak peek. Uh, some Excalibur treble hooks. Uh, some more DD-22s. Yeah. What do you got there? It's a dirty one. A dirty. That's a bomber. That's a bomber. All right, we'll get it all sorted out, Neely. We'll be right back. He is, has sorted this out. We've, we've sorted it out. So we got some stuff in the package. We do have an Excalibur XCS 100 square bill. They don't make those anymore. I want to show them these two. All right, Neely has got two DD 22s. She just wanted to show you. Those are in great shape. Uh, Joe Coat, that's a DD 22 Chartres baby bass lateral line. All right, put those up. Now here's a clown color one. Uh, this one's pretty cool. I forgot the name. What's your arm, Neely? Oh, wow. Uh, Chartreuse. Got a brown back on it. If, guys, if you know the names of some of these baits or colors, put it in the comments. Uh, this is a really cool one. I believe it's white Chartreuse pepper. A lot of guys like this, that. Like, so yeah, here's some just cheap Academy crankbaits. Uh, you can see that it's got the Express logo. This is probably the best bait of the box. <laughs> here's a Bandit 200. Uh, it's got Shad black back and it's got the sparkles on it this is an og one if you see that OG. overspray yeah that one's worth a little bit of money these are some just bomber tennessee sheds uh they got a screw tail in them and we got an old scum frog is that a hole norman in package and then a silent stalker kvd series six this is not a 6xd like you see that color is a series six. This one kind of looks like an ocean. It looks like an ocean yeah. and it's citrus. And then I think this is another clown color. Silent citrus. This is another clown color. Yep, that is called clown color, Neely. All right, not a lot in that box, but some good stuff, especially with that OG bandit. Maybe we'll find more. Hi, right, Neely, ready for another box? Mm -hmm. Let's get another box. Uh, oh, I think these are all old school. You think these are all old schools? Yeah. All right, open it up. So you had it's in a here. bunch in here. No? You had it right. I don't know. All right. Well, we'll have to get out and sort these a whole lot. More of these. More of these. That is a Norman Deep Little Inn. Hold it up so we can see it. 
Yep, good one. Chartreuse blue back gel coat. Okay. All right, let me just look in here, Neely, before you get to digging real quick. I don't want you to get a hook. We got a Series 5 Strike King. It's purple. Here's a DD-14. It is purple, Neely. That color's called Norman Flake. Very popular. That's an old one. You see the scale pattern really well. Uh, another Series 6. Uh, here's some Strike King uh, Balsa Cranks. A lot of guys like that. Oh, Fat Free Shad. Another Academy Bait. And a couple of Cordell CC Shads. Not a whole lot in that box. All right, Neely, close her up and let's get another box. Okay. All right, you got another Ooh, box? That's heavy. Oh, that's heavy. All right, let's bring that one. That one looks like it could have some juice in it. All right, here's the latches over here. Undo those latches. Right here? Right here. It does look like it could have some juice. It does look like can't it could have some juice. All right. Neely can't open it, so I'll it's open it up. I don't even want to It's like a bunch of lipless baits. And lipless we have an oh, looky here, Excalibur. Of these juice. Neely, I think we're gonna have to sort this one out and then we're gonna show the people what's in here. Uh this one has high dollar potential if there's a lot of these Ooh, in look here. This one. I got it all sorted, correct? Mm-hmm. All right. So first thing, we got some tail spinners. I don't know who makes these. Uh, this is a man's little George, which is in bad shape, but these things are really cool. And then some spoons, some Cordell spoons. Uh, lots of quarter ounce slipless. We got Cordell, Billus. Not sure who makes that. A few of these need cleaned up. They've been fished. So we can make some little lots selling two or three together. Uh, Series 3 Strike King of Bomber Square A, good color. Lots of chrome blue, chrome blue three quarter ounce red eye. It's a bleeding chrome blue, Bill Lewis. Uh, jackpot here. This is what you want to find in an estate sale a Booyah One Knocker. I believe that color is it's like Ghost Minnow or Ghost Melon. Uh, a Cordell CC Shad. But here we go. We got two Excaliburs. In the box, uh, XRK51 knocker. We'll find that color real quick. It is Ghost Melon. And then we got an XR50, which is just the regular rattle version. Um, this color is just called Ghost. Kind of looks like that Ghost IU color from Lucky Craft. Uh, couple original Strike King Red Eye Shad. It's got the blue logo, so that's probably made in 2007 to 2009. And then a quarter ounce. Uh, I believe that's a quarter ounce. No, it's a half ounce. Half ounce. The package is messed up. But they're in, but those. this one right here is an OG uh, red eye shed. And then we got a bunch more rattle traps. Mostly all these are quarter ounce. Uh, and then we got some cotton cordell spots in the package. Uh, this guy really liked chrome and bone. Like I say, if you ain't got chrome or bone. Just go home. Big girl, get another box. How many are left? There's four more. Four more. Holy smokes. We got a lot for $125. Um, definitely... That box is bigger than you. Yeah. Yeah. You. Brooks, he didn't want to be in the video, so I got yeah, another one. This is heavy. Oh, man. All right. Open it up. Let's Oh, wow. It stinks. It stinks. Yeah, yeah definitely some old school in here. Uh, Neely has sorted these all out. And uh, let's just go down the row here. You can see it's quite a bit of baits in that box. And definitely some OG. So there's some old Strike King. Uh, I believe these are Series 5. There's Series 5 or Series 4. I believe it's Series 5. I can kind of tell by the body. Uh, these are Strike King, Balsa King cranks. They're in not very good shape. Matter of fact, uh, not going to sell those. Probably go to a trash can. Uh, deep little ends. We got a bunch of them in this box. Uh, and now here's some Strike Kings that are in good shape. Uh, they made baits called the Strike King, Balsa King years ago, mid, late 80s before they went into the plastic baits. And there's a little following for these baits. A lot of them had the glitter uh, finish on them. 
I mean, look at all these deep little ends we've got here. Uh, well, first off, let's talk about this. This is a Pose 1100, a Pose RC3, one of my favorite colors Pose ever made. Uh, my dad loved that color. Um, anyway, we got the deep little ends here. Just some great Joko colors. This is one of their first, you know, kind of crawl patterns, realistic crawl with the gel coat. Um, some fire tigers. Then over here, we got some Bagley's. Uh, these are not brass Bagley's, uh, but they are Florida models. This one right here, uh, a diving uh, B2. This is a nice bait right here, baby bass. Really like that one. We got a killer B2 in there as well. Uh, some bombers, um, fat A's, this little orange guy, he's got the screw tail, and then the classic Larry Nixon 7A. Oh, yeah, that's one I always like to find. Very popular bait right here, Pro Autograph Series Lure. And then we just got uh, a little fat free guppy, he's got build ants on their side. Uh, the small hot lips. This is a pre Rapala hot lips. It's a really good one. I believe that one's uh, called Crystal Shad or something like that. Really popular one. Now we got an old school Bandit 300. You can see that overspray. It is an old one. And then a couple Finland Shad wraps and Crawdad. That's a that's a number eight. That's a hard. Uh, no, actually, excuse me. That's a number nine. This is a number seven. Guys, really look for these crawdad ones and i'll show you guys why if you look at this it's got scales on it and these guys really like the ones where the scales run all the way down the new ones are just kind of that brown gold color with no scales but the ogs swear by the scales on these old shad wraps so we got three more boxes to go we'll clean this up and get another one neely got a few more boxes left mm -hmm. let's get another one here, I'll help you so you can grab it. Ooh. Oh, that sounded big. Oh, that is big. What we got in here? Let's see. Daddy's gonna open this one. Oh, so, some more deep diving crankbaits. There's a lot of them. There's a lot of them? Yeah. Yeah? All right, let's pull these out really quickly. I think that's the best way for us to do it. Uh, actually, you know we won't. All right, so there's a nice Strike King crankbait. There's a man's, I believe that's a 20 plus. There's a man's 10 plus, a and Chrome Blue a, DD22. That's a Strike King balsa crankbait. Look, there's two Strike Kings. Yes, ma'am, there is two. Uh, this is a Pose 400. That's so, cute. It, I guess it's cute. Uh, I think this is just an Academy Whoa. crankbait. I like this one very much. What did you find? Oh, okay. That's a, that's a deep spoonbill rebel, maybe? That looks like a juice color. A juice color? Mm -hmm. oh, it's a crawdad color. It's a Rapala a deep fat wrap. And that's another pose. That's a pose crankbait. Uh, there's a cool Norman down here. Be careful, Neely. Neely, be careful. Oh, okay. Oh. There's, a, there's another pose. That's a great color. Norman. I just showed that one, Ailey. That's a Rapala. Yeah, that's a cool one. You have a lot of Rapalas. I do. All right. So we got a lot of these Strike King cranks in here. There's yeah. another one, Chrome Blue. Another Silver that's Black. That is a cool color. Uh, what is this? Oh, this is a giant. Right. Holy smokes, it's a big prank baby. Oh, another man's Norman DD22. A lot of deep divers in this box. You can definitely tell it's come from the south end of Kentucky Lake. All those deep divers. What do you find, Ailey? Yeah, that's a man's. A man? Yep, they're no longer in business, so. All right, pretty decent box. Nothing crazy in here. I do like all the strike king divers though uh, there are some collectors that are looking for these um so yeah all right, all right i'll tilt it here for you now we got two boxes left uh, yeah. you're doing a great job i think you might take my place ooh, 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 ooh. I wanna, okay, I 
Is it heavy? Uh oh. Oh, it is heavy. Oh wow! Looks like it's got some juice in it. It does look like. Has it got the juice? I see some juice. See some juice? All right. Let's open can you open her up. Open this bad boy up. You can get stronger here. I'll help you. Ready? Yeah. Boom! Let's see what we got? Oh my goodness! Whoa! Let's spin Whoa. this. What did you find? Oh man, a purple one. Is that yeah. your favorite color? Yeah. That is. Let's see what exactly that is. That's a one knocker, I believe. Oh yeah, that's a one knocker Royal Shad. That okay. that is juice. <laughs> All right, me and Neely got it sorted out here, and here's some rare baits. These are the Excalibur uh, series lipless, new in the pack. You see the old school price of six ninety nine. They're worth probably double, maybe triple that. Uh, now, highly desired, especially this time of year, it is lipless crankbait season. This one is one of my personal favorites. Royal Shad, and you see the K? It means one knocker, but we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven in this. We had two in another box, so that's nine, ten. And then we got another Excalibur square bill, a couple rattle traps, some OG red eye shads, blue labels. That's the first run of them. Uh, this is a color I haven't seen in a long time. I don't even know the color name. Uh, and then some other lipless down here. A lot of lipless in this estate lot. This one inspired the red eye shed. This is a, the Yozuri uh, vibe. And uh, yeah, you can kind of see the similarity in the shape. But this one come before this one. Uh, a lot of guys looking for these old Yozuris. Uh, some more rattle traps. And then... A great lavender shad Norman Deep Baby in. This is an old one. You can definitely tell on the scale pattern. Uh, great shape. This one's in. Great little river bait. A nice finesse crank bait. Neely went ahead and got the last box out. She needed a little help. So, all right. Got to find the latches. There you are, right here. I do see some cool baits. You see some cool baits? Mm -hmm. What do you think? I really see like so. Uh, what what kind of baits are these? Are these crankbaits? Yeah, yeah. Now, don't get them so close to your face. All right. Crankbaits. Put it back. We, uh, ooh. We're not going to do a sorting on this because I'm running out of storage on my phone. So, Daddy's just going to talk about them real quick. All right. First thing I see, a couple of lavender shad deep little ends. Love that bait. It's just, just a classic. A uh, bruise. Yeah, it ain't a bruise, Nina. It's dirt. We'll clean them up. Uh, Cotton Cordell CC Shad. Looks like a Finland Shad wrap down there. There's a Rebel Shad R. Oh, a whole bunch of Shad wraps right here. Just a Shad color, Pearl Chartreuse, some more of those Cordell CC Shads. You know, that's a bait I don't throw much. There's a Fat Free Guppy. Let's see if it's Bill's logo. Yeah, absolutely got Bill. Um, another Bandit right here. Old school bandit. We like that. You're going to need new hooks. I don't think this is a bandit. I actually think this is an old Bill Lewis. Uh, they made a bait similar to a bandit years ago. And then we got a Rebel Deeply Yard. This one's in good shape. Really good shape. Uh, some more deep little ends. A Tennessee Shad and a Chrome Black Back. This looks like a Rapala, but those eyes aren't Rapala. Oh, this is actually a uh, a Mr. Twister crankbait. There's a little history for you. They made more than just grubs and sassy shads. They actually made a balsa shad wrap style crankbait. Interesting. There's a, another pre Pradco hot lips. You see, it's got the little dimples on the bottom that lure Jensen. So it's an old one. Deep little end, and another striking ball, so this one's had a haircut. He's bald, sir. Instead of ball, sir, he's a bald, sir. Craig Bait. He's looking like my hair. Uh, oh, yeah. Just sold one of these on Whatnot. Great bait here. This is a Bill Ants uh, Fat A Pro Autograph Series. Color is called Striper. Oh, love this bait. It's in good shape. Uh, here's another Bagley, full black back. 
Boom, that's a killer B2. Yeah, well, bottom's a little messed up. It is a killer B2. Uh, another Fat Aid, and looks like a screw tail chrome black bomber. One of them, and then a chrome and black deep little end. That was the last box, Neely? Yeah. Last box, so there we go. I think for $125. Not only we we double, triple our money, we may have quadruple it. All right, guys, thanks for watching the video with me and Bait Girl. Neela, did you have a good time unboxing those baits? Yeah. Did you learn anything? Mm -hmm. I yeah. like the purple bait the she most. She likes the purple bait the most. Do me a favor, guys, if you've watched this whole video. Let me know the bait you like the most or are intrigued about the most, but... These lures will all be for sale other than the ones I decide to keep over on my Whatnot uh, channel. I do an auction about once, maybe twice a week. And um, subscribe. Also subscribe to the YouTube channel, per Neely. Uh, we're really close to 20,000 subscribers. Let's see if we can get there. Uh, share this video out. Guys, y'all have a good one. Spend some time with your family. Spend some time with your baits. Check us out.